still never join Coach Ross's hangout video. Having the phone upside down? That's no fun. Hey, thanks for the help, though. I really appreciate it. All right, hey, it's me. It's Coach Ross, and this is Coach Ross's hangout. And if you haven't liked our YouTube page, I'm going to know, and I'm going to find out, okay? And we're going to have a talk. Come August, me and you, yeah, we're going to talk. So if your parents haven't joined our page, go join it. That's the only way to stay up to date with all these cool videos. Just next time, please make sure your phone is facing the right way when you turn it on, okay? Hey, so we've had a lot of fun up to this point. Um, and yes, Coach Ross owns more clothes than just these, but I kind of like them, okay? So don't judge me, okay? Like some of you are wearing your pajamas right now, but I'm not saying anything, okay? All right, so yes, we're still in this really smoky room, okay? But we're about to go to the other place, okay? And we're about to have some fun. Okay, but today is gonna be hmm, a cool game, but a little bit challenging. And so you're gonna need some help from the people that you live with. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need today. Give me a second, ready? <gasps> okay, hey, I'm actually in water right now. But actually below me, you can't see it, but we're actually in water. That's why this is on a floating table. Okay, just kidding. No, this is the only water we have. Okay, now, if you have water, drink it. Okay, not Cokes. Okay, Coach Ross has made a, made a promise to myself that I'm not going to drink any more Cokes. I'm done. I'm stopping. Not good for me. I'm not going to be drinking it. Okay? So maybe you want to make that same promise to me. Actually, here's what I want you to do. In the comments below, I want you to send me a picture of you drinking water in the weirdest place you can find. Okay? So don't send me one of drinking water on the toilet. That's just a little weird. Okay? But if you want to go in your treehouse, hmm and drink water. Okay, are you wanna, uh, oh, uh, don't make a mess. Woo. Ooh. We're good to go. But yeah, send me a picture, it'll be awesome, okay? So you need a bottle of water, okay? Empty if you can, okay? Maybe just a little bit of water underneath it, okay? And you also will need a bowl, but it's easier if you have a laundry basket. Now. Here right now in this room, I don't have a laundry basket, but for this game, I will be using a laundry basket. So if you don't want a bottle of water, a paper roll towel, paper roll towel, ha, ha, ha. Okay, brain fart, okay. A paper towel roll will work just fine, okay? Anything that's tall and can stand up like this and hold up something will be perfect, okay? Now, I forgot one more thing, okay? So let me, Dive right back in. I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, remember the sock? It's still clean because last time we used the sock ball, I used the other sock, and this one's just been laying around. Okay? So here's what I want you to do to help your parents this week. Okay? I know right now in your house you have a bunch of these random socks. Okay? I want you to send me a picture of how many ever random socks you can find that doesn't have the match to it, okay? Uh, that annoys me really bad, but you know what's more annoying? Is having to organize and find all the other matches. So this week, I want you to help your parents in finding those random socks, find matches to them where you can put them on, okay? Now remember how we make a sock ball? I hope you've been practicing, okay? It's this. You go like this, and you roll it up, you roll it up, you roll it up, tuck it in, Boom. Okay, now I know it's not perfectly round. It's not going to be perfectly round. Don't make fun of my sock ball, okay? Ha, I almost hit you. You better be glad you moved. Okay, so you need a sock ball. You need something. Paper towel roll. I said it right that time. Yes, paper towel roll. Okay, water bottle. Okay, a bowl, laundry basket. Uh, a trash can may even work. We're going to play a game called Mouse Trap. Okay, now in order to do this, I'm going to give you 30 seconds and we have to very quietly go and get these items in 30 seconds. Okay, got it? Okay, so I'm gonna sneak away really fast. Okay, three, two, sight!
my students. Guys, say hey if you're here. Say hey. Oh, hey, there you are. I thought I saw somebody. Hey, does this thing work? Hey, are you there? Hey, hey, oh, there you are. Hey, so I, I kind of lost my shirt. I had to take it off because I got super sweaty and I lost my bowl because I got attacked by a cat. And so I had to throw the bowl on top of the cat and take off running. Now it's not a very heavy bowl, so the cat will eventually be able to come out. But if you know from class, Coach Ross does not like cats. Don't like cats at all. So today, we are going to have some fun, okay? We are going to play a game that uses the underhand rolling technique, okay? So you're probably like, Coach Ross, underhand throws are for babies. That's when I was in kindergarten. Wham, 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 wham. Underhand throw is very important. We're worried about overhand throw a totally different time. We don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, we want to focus on this because it's going to be really fun. And if you remember, the last time we had PE, we were actually working on bowling. So I want to make sure that Coach Ross finishes that up so that we can move on, okay? So remember, you need a sock ball. Now let me remind you what to do. Sock here, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Move your hips while you do it, it works better, okay? Roll it, if you still don't like it, you gotta restart, okay? Now we want it kinda in a ball today so that it'll roll a little better, okay? So we got our sock ball, okay? We got our water bottle, ta-da-da! Now we don't want it super full for this activity, okay? We actually want it about right there, okay? Or a little lower, okay? If it's super full, it's gonna make this activity a little bit harder, okay? So today, your goal is to try your best and to have fun, that's all we want, okay? And if you sweat, that's good, because I can tell you in a few minutes, Coach Ross is gonna be sweating, because I had to turn the air conditioner off, because you could hear it in the mic, and we don't need that, okay? All right, so, you need your basket. You can have a laundry basket like this, you can have a trash can, you can have a bowl like Coach Ross had. Anything will work as long as it can trap something, okay? The game we're playing today is called Mouse Trap, okay? We are going to trap our mouse right here, okay? Do you think I should keep this on for the rest of the time, okay? Does this protect me from COVID-19? Huh, stay away. Okay, just kidding, we don't wanna do that. Okay, so mouse trap works like this, okay? I'm going to count to three, and when I say three, I am going to go to my wife's view over here, okay? And it's gonna be super cool and super quick. You ready? Three, two, one, boom! Right here, okay, hey guys, down here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our bottle, and we're gonna take our laundry basket, and we are going to lean it like that. Uh-oh, didn't wanna do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we want to get it to where it'll stay still, like that, okay? That is called a mouse trap. Now, Coach Ross is going to build his a little far away because, well, I'm a superhero. Duh, okay? So I don't want to be this close to my mouse trap. I wanted to put it in a corner. Now, if it's wide open in the middle of the room, that's okay, too, okay? Just don't break anything, okay? All right, so three, two, one, boom. Okay, so we're going to put mine way over here in the corner, okay? And we're going to build it just like I just showed you, just like that. And then we are going to take five steps away. Now, because I know everyone knows how to count from five, we're going to count backwards, okay? All right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, boom, right here. This is where we're going to start. Now, here's how it works, okay? It can be a little bit confusing, but right now I'm going to be showing you how you can keep your own score, okay? If your ball knocks over the bottle, but your mouse doesn't get trapped like this, that counts as one point. If your mouse misses the bottle but hits the trap and your bottle stands up, okay, that counts as two points. What you want to do is you want to hit the bottle 
knock the bottle down, and your mouse gets trapped. If you trap both things, that's worth three points. Okay? So, you've got to be able to remember that. Remember, it's all about what's inside of the mouse trap. If it's just the bottle, it's one. If it's just the mouse, it's two. If it's both, it's three. If it's neither, it's zero. Okay? So, Coach Ross is going to show you really quickly how to do it. And I probably won't knock it down because, well, that's just how it works when you're making a video. It never works the first time. But watch this, okay? Remember our three steps. What are they? Oh, you don't remember. So you're saying, I didn't do my job by teaching you the three steps of throwing? Okay, say it with me. Number one, step. Two, load. Three, throw. Okay, so now you're starting to remember. So, which hand do I hold it in? Hmm. That's right, my dominant hand, the hand that I hold my pencil in. Which foot do I step with because I have two? My opposite. So, if it's on this side, this is my opposite foot. If it's this hand, this is my opposite foot. So, Coach Ross is right-handed, so I'm going to step with my left foot. Got it? Okay, so watch me do it. I'm going to step, load, but we want to release it by our pocket because we're rolling it. If we were throwing it, we'd release it up here. But I'm rolling it, so I want to release it here. So step, load, roll. Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. I am super embarrassed. Just kidding. No, I'm not because it's hard, okay? I got zero points because I hit the basket, but the basket didn't move, okay? So it's your turn. When a timer starts, you are going to keep your score. If it's just the bottom, it's one point. If it's just the mouse, two points. If it's both, it's three points. If it's neither, it's zero points. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. All right, so I knew that wouldn't last long. I knew I wouldn't just miss for 30 seconds. So I got seven points, okay? Now I know Will Taylor, I know you're probably out there and the only thing you care about is trying to beat Coach Ross's score, but I know I just beat you. I know I did, so it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's just like in class. I'm gonna beat you every time, Will, okay? You're never gonna beat me. I'm not going to be the nice Coach Ross and let you win every year. Just kidding, Will. I'm just giving you a hard time. But hey, Will, will you tell JT that next year when he plays basketball for me, I'll beat him every time too, okay? All right, so <laughs> I got seven points, and here's how I got seven points. I got the bottle and the mouse inside the trap twice. Three plus three equals boom, six. Do you see that? Slow motion. Three plus three is Boom! Six! Okay? That really wasn't slow motion. I just kind of changed my voice. Probably wasn't very good. Okay? All right. So, and then I knocked the bottle in. Okay? But the mouse stayed out. So they gave me seven points. Now, whatever your score is, remember it because you're about to have to do frog jumps. You're about to have to do frog jumps. So, Coach Ross is going to do his for you so you can remember what to do. And my goal is to try to hit my head on the ceiling fan. Okay, because you gotta jump as high as you can. All right, so back straight. Remember, we don't want to look like, like that. Okay, straight here. We want to go down and jump and jump. And I can't reach it. Six, seven. Okay, all right. I think I actually did eight. Okay, wow. I think I hit the ceiling fan and it created a ball spot. Do you guys see a ball spot? I thought I could avoid a ball spot my whole life and. 
Ceiling fan just caused that. Just kidding. It runs in the family. Can't do anything about it. So don't make fun of me because I'm really not that old and I have a ball spot. Oh well, ball spots are gonna be cool because you can slap and it makes a cool sound. You wanna hear that again? Watch. Yeah, super cool. Okay, all right. So <laughs> I'm trying to stay pumped, guys. I really am trying to. All right. Uh, so now what we're gonna do. We, had, we should have been about five steps away from the basket that time. Now we're gonna go eight steps away from the basket and we're gonna do the same thing, except <clears throat> we have a different exercise now, okay? All right, so your goal is to try to beat me, right? It's all about competition. No, it's not, it's about doing it right and then we can worry about how good we did, okay? So, Coach Ross is gonna go eight steps away and we're gonna see what it is. If you're not breathing hard, it's because you're not working hard enough. Okay, you should be running and running and running and running every time you throw, roll that ball, okay? Remember, step, low, throw, dominant hand, opposite foot. You ready? Three, two, one, I'm gonna beat you. Go! tough. I worked really hard and uh, my score didn't really show for it. So uh, Coach Ross only got three points that time. Three points! The mouse did not want to go in. I knocked the bottle inside of there three times. Okay, I think it's the sock. I think if it was a cooler color, it worked better. Okay, all right, so if you're gonna beat me, that was the time to beat me because level three, there's no way you're beating me. Okay, like I've never lost at this game. Yes, it's my first time playing, but I've never lost. Okay, so really quick, if you have water close by, take a drink. Mm. Uh, if you don't have water close by, you better pause my video and meet me back here. Okay, so level three is a little different. We don't have to take score anymore, okay? But you thought I was gonna move on to level three without you doing your exercise? Ha, huh. wrong. So whatever your score was, so Coach Ross got three. If your score, if you are kindergarten and first grade, remember we do PE push-ups. Okay, yes, I'm kindergarten, duh. Okay, if you are second grade and above, you do real push-ups. Now, PE push-ups are easier, okay? We just wanna give our muscles time to develop the right way and for us to understand the right way to do a push-up before we start trying to do something and get ourselves hurt, okay? So if you got, if your score was above five and you were a kindergartner or a first grader, you have to do 20 PE push-ups. So if you got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up there, okay, you have to do 20 PE push-ups. If you got four, three, two, one, or zero, you have to do 15 PE push-ups, okay? If you are second grade and above, okay, and you got five or more points, you have to do eight push-ups. Well, Coach Ross, how do I have to do 20 and second graders only have to do eight? Well, because real push-ups are actually a little harder, okay? And if you got five and below and you're second grade or above, you do four push-ups. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not letting you do four. You're second grade, you can do all eight. How about that? You do all eight, okay? No matter what your score is, second grade and up, you do all eight. If your parents participate, they have to do it, okay? And if not, I'll find out. Okay? And I'll come to your house and I'll make you do your push-ups. Okay? Because I'll bring my whistles, right, kid? If I have my whistle, it's big time. It's serious. Okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna jump down here and I'm gonna go to my wife's camera. Okay, you ready? Three. Count down with me. Two, one, boom. Okay, all right, we're here. Remember, we want our back to be straight. This is not push-ups. Okay? We don't believe in girl push-ups, okay? Push-ups are push-ups, we do them right. Okay, PE push-ups, we keep our butt level. We don't want our butt down, we don't want our butt up, we want it level, okay? PE push-ups, we're gonna go one, two, 
tree like that. Real push-ups, the same thing. You want your butt level, okay, and you want to take your chest to the ground, here and back up. If you have to take a break, that's totally fine. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do your push-up and then go get a drink and meet me back here. Ready? Three, two, one, go! I hope you got a drink and I hope you're ready for this. Now level three, remember this. You're 10 steps away, we aren't taking score. Here's how you determine how good you do, okay? Is you're gonna roll it when the timer starts, okay? And whenever you get your mouse and your bottle in the trap, that is when you're done. You're gonna look at the timer and if, if Coach Ross is rolling it and I finally get both, I'm going to look at the timer. And if the timer says 15, okay, hmm, 30 minus 15 is 15. Or if it says 20, okay, I'm going to post that in the comments so that Coach Ross can know how fast you did it and everyone else in the school can see how fast you did it, okay? So Will Taylor... If you don't ever get it, I want you to post zero, okay? You Clover boys, okay, Brooks, you better have some pants on this time, okay? But post your score. I really want to see it. I really, you don't know how much it means to me when your parents send videos or when they show pictures of you guys doing it, okay? All right, Colt, you ready? All right, okay. Three, two, member. 10 steps away, one, go! All right, so <laughs> Coach Ross didn't do as good as I had hoped, but I did pretty good. So when I knocked them both in, it was at 11 seconds. So the timer said 11 seconds. So how do I figure out how long it took me? Oh, the timer is 30, okay? So 30 seconds, and the timer said 11 seconds so I can do minus so 30 minus 11 equals what do you know hmm let me give you a little bit hmm 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 boom 19 seconds so it took coach Ross 19 seconds so you don't have to worry about doing the math if you don't want to if you want to say it took me 19 seconds in the comments, do that. If you just want to say the timer said 21 seconds, then you can do that also. Okay, now before I leave, I just wanted to tell you guys that I love you so much. I miss you. I know that Coach Ross can't just pump these videos out, okay, because I'm also doing videos for my church, and there's so much that's going on, but I promise to make sure that there's one every week. Okay, I'm going to have some challenge videos coming up. If you haven't watched the Diet Coke and Mentos, you need to go do it. Okay, try it. Go buy Diet Coke and Mentos and send me a video of you trying it. Okay, but you don't have to just do this activity once. If you want to go back and what, do the sock ball episode one, you can go back and do that. If you want to do this every day, I would love for you to do it every day. Maybe one day play against your sister and one day play against your brother. This can be a whole family competition where you could even write your scores on a piece of paper and you keep up with the score. You add the scores up. That way we're working on our math too and our handwriting and our spelling, all those things. Okay? 
please, 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 please be sure to send pictures in the group, send videos, okay? Uh, I got an amazing video of Brie Allen doing this crazy flip, and I'm going to try it right now. Are you ready? You ready, Brie Allen? Okay, ready? I, I can't do that. You know, I just can't. I'm too old for that, Brie Allen, okay? But those type of things, I love them, okay? The Clover Boys, um, they sent me a video today. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you about it. I'm just going to show you really quick. They're eating chalk. I want you to look at this video. Like they are sitting there, they're eating chalk. Okay, kind of crazy, but what a cool mom to let their kid chew chalk, right? Awesome. Okay. All right. I love you guys. I miss you, and I will see you back here at Coach Ross's Hangout for our next challenge. Bye.